What's going on everyone? Brian Schmidt here and welcome to another Gecko Tip Tuesday. So a major part when it comes to owning a reptile breeding business is of course photography and having just basic photography skills can really go a long way when it comes to showcasing your animals, whether you just wanna post some really cool pictures on your social media feeds, Facebook, Instagram, obviously that's gonna drive people to your business, but also more generally is posting a listing. You wanna, when you're putting an animal up for sale, specifically a gecko, you want people interested in your animal, your buyers, to be able to view every detail of that animal in a nice, clean, crisp, high definition photo. So that brings me to the point of this video is in today's Gecko Tip Tuesday, we'll be discussing how to get that classic all white background for product photography, in this case, gecko photography. And you know the look I'm talking about where your gecko is gonna be the subject of the shot and everything around it is that nice, soft white abyss. It almost looks like the white background goes on forever and ever. And that look is made possible through this right here. This is a photo light box. And specifically, this one is the Havox, 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 not sure how to say it, doesn't really matter, who cares? Havox Photo Studio light box. And specifically, this one is the two foot by two foot by two foot, 24 inches, 24 inches, 24 inches. The large size, I think there's a couple smaller sizes than this. Of course, this one specifically, I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can check it out. But yeah, so this is a light box. Now, let me show you how it works right here. So we're gonna open up the front of it. And the main thing, in here is you have this white background, right? The white background actually comes all the way down and it curves at the bottom all the way to the very front right here. It's all one long sheet of white paper pretty much. And the important reason why it curves right there is you'll see in a second, I'm gonna turn on these lights at the top and that's gonna prevent any kind of shadows in the background. And that's what's gonna give it that, I call it the white abyss look where it looks like it goes on forever, especially when you take that close-up photo there. You, you don't really see where the background begins or ends because of that. Now, let's go ahead and turn on these lights. And it's a little blown out. Let me just change the settings on the camera for you all. Boom, boom, turn this up. There we go. I'm gonna be really dark, but you're gonna see the light box pretty good. There we go, I think that looks fine. Um, so anyways, yeah, so you have the white background. Now I have these two giant uh, LED strips. These ones are really cool that it comes with in this one because they're on a dim switch. So, where's it at? If I can find it, oh yeah. So there's super bright and then super dim. We'll leave it at that so you guys can see. But anyways, so you have the lights, of course, that is essential. And then um, this one has like kind of an aluminum reflective uh, sides right here. So what that does is you have the lights gonna shine down and the lights gonna get diffused off of these sides right here. And whatever your subject is in the middle, We'll use my favorite uh, Bang Energy Drink can. It's gonna basically eliminate, by diffusing the light off the sides and the front and everything, it's gonna eliminate any shadows around the bottom right there. And this version also comes with this little uh, white diffuser screen right here. You can raise this up and down for a more soft light on the subject or a more harsh light. Now, of course, you don't have to get anything crazy like this one. This is like a very professional version of a light box. I actually started out um, my first couple years 
doing photos like this, I made my own. I did a little DIY project. You can do it for super cheap. I think under like maybe $25, you can make your own light box with just um, like white construction, uh, cardboard, construction paper, get a couple uh, standard bulbs, um, more the uh, like cool white versus warm white is kind of what the look you want to go for. There's a few good, if you just Google uh, DIY light box on Google, I'm sure you can find a cool different variations. Probably pick up most of the supplies at Walmart. This light box also comes with changeable backgrounds besides the white. In our Gecko 360 video, we actually used a charcoal background, which came out really good in the video shoot. And yeah, that's the light box. Now, on the other side of things, yes, we use a really nice camera for product photography. I use the Canon M50, but it's more so about the lens I use. I use a 100 millimeter macro lens. You probably heard me say that a thousand times. Get those up close, really cool, high definition shots. But let me tell you, you do not need that at all to take really good photos. Like I said, I started off with just using construction paper and cardboard to make my first light box. And nowadays, cell phone cameras are so good, even especially if you have the new iPhone, but you don't even need the new iPhone. More importantly, a uh, lighting is more important than anything, than the um, camera itself. So make sure you get good lighting. Try to make your own light box instead of even buying one. Try that out first. Um, use your cell phone camera, because think about it. We're gonna come in here, take some cool shots, even just with our cell phone. It's gonna look really cool. The uh, camera's gonna focus on the subject and everything behind it's gonna be that nice pearly soft white glowing around your subject. So, like I said, super short video. Hope it was informative. That's how we do it. That's how we take photos of our geckos, sometimes for the website, for our Instagram page, Facebook page, to get that really cool white background. Um, yeah, hope you got a lot out of it. Let me know, comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Anyways, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.